Um, I just wanted to hop back on here and apologize for that uh, ending in the last video. The camera just cut off. Sometimes when I use the uh, camera on my uh, cell phone, you know, it'll it'll tape for a certain amount of time and then it shuts off. I think I need some more uh, camera space or something. I have to delete some stuff off of the uh, the files and the photo section of the camera. So, but I just wanted to share, uh, you know, that testimony. I, I was prompted, uh, you know, when I was out running around doing errands today, uh, that just popped in my head and the Holy Spirit told me, you know, why don't you uh, give that testimony about uh, what you experienced in that situation with your mom? And uh, the fact that, you know, the amazing thing about, the thing that came to me about all this that I didn't think of initially when the idea first came to me, it was the fact that I was just saved. I had just accepted the Lord, you know, a few weeks before that. And, um, and got baptized maybe about a week or two later. And then this thing happened just weeks after. And, um. Uh, you know, when you go to James uh, 5, 16, and it says, Confess your faults one to another and pray for another. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And I use that uh, second part of that scripture in the book of James, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. And I quoted that scripture to the Lord. And this is something to think about, you know, when you stop and think about this. And the Holy Spirit prompted me to, uh, and made the point. You know, Tom, you had just accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior and been baptized. And when this happened, it was only about you were you were newly saved for about a month. And you quoted, uh, you know, you had read the book of James. You were looking through there reading and you quoted that scripture to the Lord in, during that prayer session. But the scripture part that you quoted to the Lord uh, says that a righteous man avails much. The prayer of a faithful, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. You had only accepted the Lord for one month time, but uh, you learned this truth today the, the truth and given this story and, and sharing it with the public. You were righteous. You were righteous in God's eyes and God the Father's eyes. Way back then, you were righteous because you were covered by his blood, the sacrifice that he made on the cross. And his righteousness makes us righteous. Not our own, not self-righteousness. There's nothing we can do on our own to be, be righteous. Our righteousness comes from him. So uh, that was something that the Holy Spirit mentioned to me today. So I just wanted to uh, come on here and apologize, though, for the fact that the video cut off. And But I'm going to go ahead and publish it as it is because... I basically told the story and, and gave the testimony that I had intended to give. And what I was trying to do was use my computer and I had uh, scriptures for, uh, about salvation listed down to where I could read them off on the computer screen. But uh, sometimes the phone just cuts off because there's not enough data. It'll run long enough and, and do the video until the data runs out and then the thing just simply stops. But if I do a video on the home PC, um, I don't have that problem. So, uh, but I, if I deleted enough uh, pictures out of the photo se uh, section of my camera and the, on the cell phone, then I wouldn't have that problem. So, uh, anyway, I just wanted to touch base with everybody. I hope everyone has a blessed day today, and uh, I'll uh, see you soon. Thank you, and God bless you.